friends we are back again with bjt analysis so let's simplify in the circuit shown below measurement indicates vb to be 1.0 volts and v to be 1.7 volts what is beta for this transistor all right friends so we are supposed to find beta for this transistor so from the question, we are given VB to be 1.0 volts. Again, we are given VE to be positive 1.7 volts. And again, we can see there is an earth portion here. So the earth portion is going to have a voltage of 0 volts. All right. Now, because there is no resistor between the node VB and B, there is no resistor, we can see that at point B, the voltage at B is also 1.0 volts. Nice. Now, taking a look at our transistor again, you can see that the arrowhead is moving from the emitter side to the base. And we know that current moves from the emitter, sorry, current always moves from the positive side to the negative side. So we are going to have the emitter side to be P the base to be N, and then the C, which is the collector, is also going to be P. So our transistor is going to be a PNP transistor. All right. So now that we know all what we're supposed to know about our transistor, we can now go ahead to find IB. If you look here, we know what VB is, and we also know that the earth portion is zero volts. We know our resistor to be 100 k kilo ohm. Sorry, 100 kilo ohm. So you can go ahead and find IB. So we subtract VB and zero volts, and divide by 100 kilo ohm to get IB. So finding IB, VB equals zero volts equals IB times 100. When we make IB the subject, we get VB minus zero over 100, and we get I sorry one over 100 and then ib is going to give us 0 0.01 milliampers nice now that we have found ib let's go ahead to find the others no, now if you look here we have 10 volts here and we, ha we have also ve to be 1.7 volts and we have the resistor to be 5 kilo ohm so we can find the current ie so finding ie we say the 10 volts minus VE equals the current IE times the resistor 5. So we make IE the subject and we get 10 minus VE over 5. We input our values for VE and do our calculations and we get IE to be 1.66 milliampers. Alright. Now that we know what IB and IE are and we know the formula for IE equals IC plus IB, we can find the other value for IC. So we say IE equals IB plus IC. That's the formula. So we make IC the subject. And since we know the values for IE and IB, we input the values in and we get IC to be 1.65 milliampers. Nice. Now we also have another formula which is IC equals beta IE. So using that formula and knowing what IC is, we can find, we can find beta. So finding beta, we use IC equals beta IB. We make beta the subject and we get IC over IB. We input the values for IC and IB and we get beta to be one point, sorry, we get beta to be 165. So that's it for this question. Let's move to another question. What is the value of the base current in this diagram? So from the diagram, we know that this part is it. So you get zero volts over here. And since there is no resistor between E and the earth portion, we can say VE is also equal to zero volts. Now, if you take a good look at this transistor, we can see that the current is moving from base to the emitter. And we know that the current always moves from the positive side to the negative side. So you're going to have a P at the base and an N at the emitter. So if you have a P at the base, that means the collector is going to have what? An N. So you have an NPN transistor. 
Knowing this at NPN transistor, then we can see that the barrier potential at VBE is going to be 0 0.7 volts. So VBE, which is the barrier, the barrier potential, is going to be 0 0.7 volts. Now, knowing VBE and knowing VE, we can find for VB. So we see VBE equals VB minus VE. And we make VB, which we are looking for the subject, and we input the values for VBE and VE into the equation. Then we get VB to be 0 0.7 volts. Now that we know for VB, and we know that over here we have 5 volts, and we know the resistor at B to be 100 kilo ohm, we can find the current IB. So finding IB, we say this voltage 5 minus the voltage VB equals the IB times the resistor 100. We make IB the subject, and we get 5 minus 0 0.7 over 100. We do our computations, and we get IB to be 0 0.043 milliampers. Nice. Now, we can conclude that our base current for this transistor is 0 0.043 milliampers. Now, let's solve our last question. The voltage at the emitter was measured and found to be negative 0.7 volts. If beta equals 70, find IE, IB, IC, and VC. Again, looking at this uh, circuit, we are giving the emitter voltage to be negative 0.7 volts. And then looking at the circuit again, we can see that the arrowhead at the emitter side is moving from base to the emitter. And we know the current moves from the P side to the N side. So we can see that the base is P, the emitter is N, making the collector also N. So you have an NPN transistor. Now that we know we have an NPN transistor, we can go ahead to find our current IE. Since we know VE and we know the voltage here to be negative 10 volts and the resistor here to be 10 kilo ohms, we can find IE. So VE minus this voltage negative 10 equals IE times 10. We make IE the subject and then we input our values. Then we are going to get VE minus negative 10 over 10. And then we get VE to be 0 0.93 milliampers. Now from here, we can continue to find our value for IC. Why is this? We are giving the value for beta to be 50. Knowing the value for beta to be 50, we can see that finding IC, IC equals alpha IE. Now from this formula, we know that A, which is alpha, can be expressed as beta over beta plus 1. So we say IC equals beta over beta plus 1 times the IE we just found. So we input our values and then we get IC to be 0 0.912 milliampers. Now knowing IE and IC, we can use the general formula to find what IB is. So finding IB, we have IE equals IB plus IC. Then IB being the subject, we get IE minus IC. We input our values and then we get IB to be 0 0.018 milliampers. Now the last thing to find is VC. Since we know IC, we know the resistor here to be 5 kilo ohms and the voltage here to be 10 volts, we can find for VC. So we take the difference between 10 volts and VC equals IC times the 5 kilo ohm. So finding VC, 10 minus VC equals 5 times the IC current. We make VC the subject, we get 10 minus 5 times IC, we input our values and then we get VC to be 5.44 volts. Alright friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section and make sure you like and you have subscribed. See you in the next video. Until next time. Ah, yeah.